Well, here's part two of this tutorial on how to use the stencils for the 5100 unit. I mean, Atom 5100 unit. So look what we have here. When we finished, yeah, on the last one, I noticed that this did not look so good. I don't want things to line up. I want to be able to see that other snail. And this snail, you know, they're all going in the same direction. If I had some variety, it'd be kind of cool if they were going in the opposite direction. So what do you do? Well, I'm looking over here in histories, and you know, I can go back so far, but not far enough to really do some major stuff. What do I still have, though, are my uh, stencils. I still have the cloud. I still have the stripes. This one's kind of messed up, you know. When I click on that, it's been resized. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start by throwing this layer away. And over here, there's a little trash can for layers, and that one's gone. I'm going to deselect so it's not on the screen anymore, and I'm going to come back to the original stencil. Yeah, if you didn't use them, you didn't throw them away, you can use them again. So let's drag this over here and line it up with the Move tool where I want it to be. Now, I don't want to paint with it just yet, but it's ready to use. Oop, I've got to put it in the right spot in the stack. Let me turn this one over. I can't go back in history and get rid of this stuff. But I can take my paintbrush, set it white, let me flip them around here, and I can paint over this. Let me enlarge my brush. I like the clouds. I want to stay away from that. I'm just going to paint, make sure I'm on the right layer. Oop. I am on the right layer. I want this one. And remember, it's the blue one that you're painting on. And I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try to keep little soft edges so my clouds look nice and soft. Now if I go too far, remember, you can go back to this layer. And I really don't even have to see that layer to work with it. I know it's just stripes, so I click any one, white or black, it doesn't matter. And I want to come up here and do select similar once again. Switch back to black. Look at that little square right there. Get back on my paintbrush and put those stripes back in. Am I on the right layer? Nope. Always got to watch the layers. Here we go. Putting it. Nope, that's too heavy. Let's lower the opacity. I think I had it down at 48. Let's go a little bit further down. So I can even lighter. Okay, put in a few of those. And then I'm going to deselect. Take a look at that. Got a little funny thing here, but this is just to show you how. Actually, it looks kind of cool there. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. I'm going to go down here to my snail. Oh, let me hide this layer. Pick up my magic wand. And since I want a bigger one, this time I'm going to stretch it out bigger. Oh, I can even change its shape a little bit. That gives me some more variety. Come back on this layer. Oh, turn it on. Oh, that move tool, dog on that do move tool. Apply. Come back. Turn it on. And I'm ready to paint a big one. So let me get my paintbrush again. You know, the bigger they are, the more detail you can have. So let's put this back up to 100% and fill him in really quickly. All right, but let's also make him look a little bit 3D by adding some shadow around his edge. Make him look a little more like a puffy. All right, just paint the edge. That's all you got to do. Now up here, that's going to fall into the background. Let me deselect so you can see it's hard to see. So I'm going to undo and let's make that lighter. So it shows up against that background contrast. Well, look at that head. Let's make it even smaller and make that head look 3D. I'm just going to use some highlights here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's make it bigger. Put a little highlight right there. Now it's looking 3D. Oh, yeah. Looks a little spotty. But look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go back down on this layer, make it active, pick up my Move tool, make it smaller. Move it over, go back to this layer, oh, move tool, apply, go back up to this layer, turn it on, find a lighter color as things move closer to us. We want them to get lighter. Actually, let's keep it right there because it's just the head. And let's get that paintbrush and let's take it down a little bit. No, let's leave it 100%. Make it show up. There it is. Right in front of the other one because it's a lighter. Change of value. Uh, if I deselect, I think the antenna is going to disappear. Oh, don't want to save, not yet. Let's do Command D. Yeah, let's undo, bring it back. Let's make the color there a little bit darker. So 
so we can see those antenna, make it brush smaller, make it look round by painting the edge. Oh yeah, adding some variety, getting some depth here. Let's make it lighter. Dunk. Oh. Make it a little bit smaller, bring out the roundness of the head, the roundness of the shell. Oh yeah. And let's go back down one more time. Take that, but let's flip it. Gotta get on this layer. Edit, trans, oh, let's use everything we know so far. Flip it horizontal, scale it down. Let's make the little baby guy. There's the little baby. Maybe we can even do twins or triplets. Ooh, let's see what we can do here. But anyway, this is getting kind of long on this tutorial. Let's see what you can do with the snail family and what how you want to make it look 3D. Boop. Okay. Bye-bye.